Hey, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to look at phasing once again, but we're going to take it to the next level. We have phasing already set up within this model, but what I'm going to do is add this phasing into a video and basically animate the phasing. And we want to see what this looks like as it's, you know, animated throughout the entire phasing. And we can see like the full building from start to finish in a video. I think that would be pretty cool. And to know how to do that would be even better. So before we get into it, if you happen to learn something, please demolish that like button. It definitely helps me out a lot. Also, subscribe. All right, let's get into it now. We are in a past phasing project where I have set up the phasing here. If I go to phasing, we can see that I do have all of this phasing set up. And we can see that, you know, the building is eventually built. We've got all the, the content there and, it, you know, it's fine. Not fully materialized, but nonetheless, we've got all of our phases and the building is built. But at this point, I want to make a, an animation out of it. So let's go back to video here. We'll create a video and we're going to just start at this point. So we'll make this part one that that works. And we need to actually integrate the phasing within this and, you know, like watch this slowly populate maybe as I pan around. So what I want to do at this point is go ahead and just go to another location and maybe just we'll start with our final location. And maybe I want to look, you know, like kind of here just to see the full shot of it all. So we'll go ahead. And, that's great. OK, so we've got our shot here. And if I hit if I just hit play, we could see, you know, we're going to pan around and maybe that's what I want it to do. Maybe not. I don't know. But nonetheless, we probably want to start from a different place. So maybe start here. We'll go ahead and update that location. And we play it now. We could see, you know, we're going to pan around the building. You know, it look, makes sense. And this is fine. So now we need to integrate our phasing. So there's a couple of ways that we can integrate phasing. So if you remember from my previous video with phasing, I actually created the phasing through scene states. So if you remember that, if we look, if we quit media mode and we expand our scene graph here and we change out statistics to scene states, we can see that I have foundation set up and you can set more of these up if you want, but I've basically got foundation set up. And the nice thing is we can just see what this foundation looks like. I can always add more scene states based on what the particular phasing looks like. I would essentially have different layers for different events or different phases in the project. And it just, it kind of makes sense because I could quickly cycle through them here just by clicking, but with only foundation, it doesn't quite make sense. I could add one. I'll just rename this to uh, building where I have maybe the rest of the building built. I can come over to my phasing and then come over here to my building being built. I can refresh this and I should be able to quit medium mode, click foundation, then click building. And I can see, I can cycle between them. It just, you know, it's easy. So that's what, that's what one thing we could do with our video. If we come back to our video, go into our video at this point, I can decide, you know, I want to see the building or I don't. And I can, you know, that's great. So if I start here at the beginning, press foundation, and then I refresh this, and then I come over to my next part, and then I press building and refresh this as well, we can see that the building populates there. So my guess is we're going to see the building populate not exactly when I want it to. So if I scrub along here, I can see the building doesn't actually show up, which is kind of weird. And then all of a sudden, at the end, it pops up, which that doesn't, that doesn't do me any good. Unfortunately, it really doesn't. So I'll go back to foundation and refresh that. So we basically have just the foundation again. So you can get scene states to work because the, I would have to then apply each uh, at a new clip essentially for every single scene state or every single phase, which is not bad. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. But I'm going to save us all a little trouble if you're trying to make one streamlined animated phasing video. And it's really simple. It does not involve scene states. Now, I do like scene states because it will give you more control because if you wanted to stay in one particular state longer, that's how you would do it. But I did want to show you how you can actually integrate your phasing into the video. So we have video here and we've got, if we click on our video, we're back to our you know video and editing it. But we want to click more. And we can see we've got the output size, but we've also got phasing, which, hello, here it is, hallelujah. So phasing, right now it's set to none. But if I click on phasing, I can see that there's my phasing and I just conveniently named it phasing. So I'll change that to phasing and I'll go, then I'll go back to the video, go into the video and 
Lo and behold, nothing happened, except I see the house there at the end. Let's just press play and see what happens. Press play. It's slowly populating as it goes throughout the video. I know it's a bit choppy in the preview, but it it is phasing the building correctly, like from start of the video to end of the video. And that's awesome. That's great. That's what we want. It's very simple. And like, that's nice. It's nice that it does that because that's what we want to see. So now maybe we want to take this a step farther because, you know, you know, maybe the time of year changes because, you know, we're past, we're showing the passage of time. So let's come into our first part here, go to more, we'll go to weather and, you know, we can add a little bit of clouds, not necessarily rain, but I want to start it, let's say more towards the fall and not necessarily in the fall, but like, you know, close to the fall because I think it's starting in November. So we could just leave it there in the fall and, you know, you can mess with all these if you want, but I don't necessarily want to. Weather's great, lighting, you know, it is what it is. I want to do is come back into my video and then make sure I go to my next part. And, you know, I want this to be in the spring because, you know, we're going through the spring. And so, and that's, you know, spring looks pretty good right there. And yeah, that looks good. We, we want maybe a little more growth by the spring. Cool. Go back into our fall, make sure we have our growth set up correctly. So that's fine. But you will notice here that if I scrub through the video now, we go from fall through winter and then into spring, which is great. And we get a little bit of growth there. We get some rain. Like it's a passage of time. It's showing that we are, in fact, going through the seasons, you know, we have some rainy days some this and that. So like, this is really good. And it was not hard to do that. We're basically going from one end to the other. Like, <laughs> this is kind of a funny shot, but like, this is the middle. This is, this is the middle of my phasing, which happens to be the dead of winter. And, you know, maybe it's fine that you have all this. It's, it's, it is what it is. So I, I think it's pretty nice. And so I'm going to fully animate this video and put it at the end so you can see it. But really, that's going to do it, you know, you like I said before, you could go back into the phasing, and if you wanted to break this up more, each one of these parts would be a separate phase because the phase would populate at the end, and then you could cycle between the seasons all the same. The seasons have nothing to do with the phasing. I just set it up to start in the fall and then end in the spring, so it's going through the winter in the middle. That makes sense. So you could set it up through scene states, and if I wanted to spend more time in one phase or like, look through the project and not spend like an equal amount of time in each phase, you would have to do scene states and that's how it works. And so that's why I want to show you how to do that. But again, that will do it for this video. If you happen to learn something, which I hope you did, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. Also, please consider subscribing. If you lasted this long in the video and you're still watching, then thank you very much. You're awesome. You really are the best. Once again, have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.